Red Fort of Agra Part 2 The 94 acre 380,000 meters The Red Fort has a semi-circular plan it's called lying parallel to the river. Its walls are 70 feet high. Four gates were provided on its four sides. One Kizri gate opening on to the river. Two of the fort's gates are notable, the Delhi gate and the Lahore gate. The Lahore Gate is also popularly known as the Amar Singh Gate for Amar Singh Rathore. The monumental Delhi Gate, which faces the city on the western side of the fort, is considered the grandest of the four gates and a masterpiece of Akbar's time. It was built around 1568 both to enhance security and as the king's formal gate and includes features related to both because the indian military the parachute brigade in particular is still using the northern portion of the agra fort the delhi gate cannot be used by the public Tourists center enter uh, via the Lahore Gate, so named because it faces Lahore now in Pakistan. Some of the most historically interesting mixing of Hindu and Islamic architecture are found here. You have just seen the Taj Mahal, a view from Red Fort. The Taj Mahal actually built by Shah Jahan as a tomb of his wife Mumdas Mahal and he wanted to see every time her tomb from his palace, from his place. Taj Mahal is a beautiful monument of India, a tomb, epitome of love. This red fort built principally as a military establishment by Akbar in 1565. The red sandstone Agra fort was partially converted into a palace during Shah Jahan's time. Though the principal structure was built by Akbar, many more additions were made by his grandsons. This massive fort is 2.5 kilometers long and is considered as the predecessor of the Delhi Red Fort. Ever since Babur defeated and killed Ibrahim Lodi at Pantipat in 1526, Agra played an important center of Mughal Emperor. Akbar chose this city on the bank of the river Yamuna as his capital and proceeded to build a strong citadel for the purpose. It is said that he destroyed the damaged old fort of Agra for the purpose and raised this grand group of monuments instead in red sandstone. Started in 1565, it took eight years and 35 lakh rupees to complete its construction and is second only to Taj in Agra. Qasim Khan Mir Barubhar supervised the construction of this building. The Red Fort began its life in the 10th century as a simple mud and a brick fortress along the banks of the Yamuna River. You see this beautiful building? It's, a, it's marvelous because from every corner the presider can see everyone. If 
Shahjahan sits in the centerpiece in his place. He can see everyone from each corner of this marvelous place. It's the beauty of this place, this building. Under Akbar, 1564, 1570s of the Mughal dynasty, it was rebuilt along the lines of its predecessor, which accounts for its irregular outer walls. Originally intended as a fortress, the site was partially converted into a palace during the reign of Shah Jahan, as I told, who lived in the fortress and died there, a prisoner of his own son. Redford is always a very historical place. A lot of love, a lot of tensions, a lot of memories are left behind by the Mughal emperors. Redford is one of the most visited place in Agra. Not only this is the palace of the Mughal emperors, but because of its histo history, some memory behind. Agra Red Fort Sunny Vision presence travel